Hi guys, so today we are going to see how to draw arrows part 1. We often try to start to draw the arrows like a complex shapes, which means uh, trying to duplicate it only by what we see. Like this for example. So I quite exaggerate the mistakes. But the, the often mistake that we see is that the arrows is not symmetrical. So you can see here, 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 and also important is that this and this part are not aligned, which should be like this. And so to the solution to this actually is quite simple, is to decompose the arrows in two main shapes. As the arrows is a combination of a rectangle and a triangle. Like that. The second point is that this rectangle and triangle are both aligned and symmetrical which means the right way to draw the arrows will be so as you can see here uh, this point and this point are actually well aligned and this point and this point make this part here to here symmetrical uh, how I would recommend to draw the, the arrows would be starting to draw with the axis of symmetry which is right here and then the bottom of the head of the arrows so like this like this and then I draw the head like this like so so as we can see this part this part are aligned and with this and this Is symmetrical okay so to recapitulate in product design is that we always want to simplify things uh, anything which looks complex we try to make it as to decompose it in uh, multiple simple shapes so for the first one we know that here is decomposition so rectangle plus triangle and for the second one here is to follow the symmetry axis follow axis okay to make sure that everything is aligned and uh, well proportioned okay so let's draw a bit some more up so here is a body and head So I can actually, if I want, make it super flat, like this. Just personalize it. Okay, and so if you want to apply some pen pressure here, um, it's important to start with um, <laughs> so it's important to start the construction line with uh, the light pressure. So let's do like this. And then on Photoshop we can use a eraser to remove whatever happened in the middle. Okay, alright, so today we have seen the most basic shape of the arrows and for the next video we are going to see how to draw the arrows uh, in perspective such as drawing on a plane or with two-point perspective and also see uh, how to draw the arrows more like a ribbon to show some movement of it. Hopla. See you guys for the part 2 of the tutorials how to draw an arrow and till then feel free to sign up to the blog thedesignsketchbook.com and get the free ebook The Designer Starter Kit for guys made for beginners. Bye bye!